My name is WWD Deadman, you already know that, and I am randomizing and locking every single mainline game in the Pokemon series with my own hardcore rule set and without reusing any species. So if I use Jarizard in one game, I can't use the entire line in any of the other games. This is the second game in the series, Blue. If you want to hear the full rule set, watch the first video in the series, link to the playlist in the description and the iCard in the top right of your screen. In short though, Nuzlocke rules, so one encounter per area and fainted mons are dead. Battle style is set, no items in battle, I can't skip trainer battles on any route and I can't run from wild encounters. Gyms are lock in, all official league battles are to be fought with the same number of mons on my team as my opponent has. This means gym leaders and elite four in champion battles. All of this has been streamed over on Twitch, as well as on this channel here on YouTube, currently live simultaneously on both sides every Wednesday. All VODs from that are available on my VOD channel. Again, all of that linked in the description. Sorry that this took way too long since part one of the series, and uh, with that, let's start. We name our character Deadman as per usual, and our rival Asshat as is the tradition. Our starter choices are Raichu, Blastoise and Golbat, now Raichu we already used in red, so that's off the table, and with Golbat being much more useful in later games where it can evolve, we take Blastoise and give Golbat to Asshat. Getting past the parcel delivery, our first encounter is a Poliwhirl, which we decide against because we already have water, and second is a Dratini to the left of Viridian. That obviously doesn't want to be caught, so we have to kill it as well eventually. Route 2 is a Zapdos, and before it can kill BFG, our Blastoise, we kill it instead. Unfortunate, I'd have liked a legendary bird on the team. The forest gives us a Nidoqueen, and we also don't get that. So we're still on a single member. And so Brock's gym trainer has a Vileplume. I fucking quit. Ah, <laughs> uh, watch me lose to Paddle Dance. Yeah, kind of clear that that wouldn't play out well. That's one death and round two. Hello there. Uh, I'll keep the death counter up throughout all attempts so we can have a grand total for blue at the end. Also, remember, if we reset a game, every mon that we used in the failed run becomes available again for the next one, because otherwise we could just run out of mons before even leaving Gen 1, and that would be dumb. Our starter in round 2 is Farfetch'd, and the run ends at route 2, with a Jolteon taking out both our mons up until then. Hello there! Round 3, we choose Voltorb for our starter and catch a Lickitung on Route 1. Tangela is the third team member and Route 2 has a Ponyta who kills Perospero the Lickitung, as well as Explode the Voltorb and obviously Spaghetti the Tangela cannot win against a Fire-type either, so... Hello there! <laughs> Round 4 starts with Sizzle the Charmander, Slop the Grimer is member number 2 and we finally get to the forest again. Here we get Nessie the Lapras, and the first bug catcher we fight in Viridian starts with Pidgeotto. And Sand attacks Sizzle until it's blind enough to not hit anything anymore. Taking way more damage than needed, and we eventually kill it with Nessie. His Hypno is second, and it hypnotizes Nessie. So we go to Slop, run right into a confusion, and Slop dies. Sizzle is on low health, uh, and also goes to sleep after one attack eventually dying without ever waking up, and Nessie comes back out still asleep, and that's all for this one. Hello there! Round 5, we start off with Ryu the Dragonite. Funnily enough, our rival only gets a wheel. We abuse the hell out of Gem 1 rap mechanics and never lose a single HP against that. The second team member comes in QB the Vulpix on Route 2. On our way through Viridian Forest, this happens. Master Ball! <laughs> what? Huh? 
So, with that team, we enter Brock's gym. The gym trainer is pretty easy this time, even at a level disadvantage, and we get to fight Brock. He leads with Gloom, I send out QB. An Ember burns right away, he full heals, another Ember burns again, he full heals, and another Ember kills. Zubat is second, so we switch to Ryu, we spam Rap, while he leech lives every now and then, he then confuses us, but we still manage to get the win with Rap. That's new? That's definitely new! Haven't heard that sound bug yet! Well, that was weird. Onwards to the next route. We managed to get through all the trainers there and catch Psycho the Hypno on the way. We also buy a dugong for 500 bucks off a guy in the Pokemon Center at Mount Moon and name it Fridge. In Mount Moon, we fight a nerd for his fossils and then take the Helix fossil. Cause Lord Helix is in fact our only lord and savior, also if I didn't tell you what I took, you'd all ask. Now that I think about it, everyone ask anyway, comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. We fight our rival next, the Cerulean, and he leads with Nidoqueen, while I lead with Fridge. Body Slam takes a good chunk of our health, Aurora Beam does the same to him. We do the same exchange a second time, and I switch to Ryu to kill with Rap. His Zubat is next, and I go to Psycho for super effective confusion, which two shots. Staryu is next, and I hypnotize it to stand spam confusion as it sleeps until it faints. His last mon is a Kakuna, who obviously is a free kill, so onwards through Nugget Bridge. Arty Kudo! We also catch Beanstalk, the victory bell, in the grass next to it, then we take on the gym with Ryu and Psycho as our team members. Misty leads with Geodude, who dies to two confusions from Psycho. Second is a Zapdos, so I go to Ryu and take two Thundershocks for half, before hitting a Rock Slide, and out of Thundershock and Rock Slide later, we win. On the route under Cerulean, we catch a Kabutops and name it Dome, filling up the team to a full party of six. One... In before 5 hit and QB dies. I fucking quit! Ah, uh, yeah. Fuck Barrage. In Vermillion, we fish up a Nidoqueen, whose nickname gets to be just a symbol for female, and continue onward to the SSN. After getting cut from the captain, we get into Surge's gym with Dome, Psycho, and Ryu. What? <sighs> are we are we doing a little bit much in terms of legendary birds game? Um a level 21 legendary bird is obviously not something I can deal with on dome or psycho for that matter. So I try Ryu even with the type disadvantage and get one shot by Ice Beam. Psycho goes out and somehow through a bunch of hypnosis and confusion spam we manage to take Articuna down. Sandslash is last on that gym trainer and another hypnosis and a couple of confusions deal with that, luckily. By the way, did you know no matter where the first switch is, the second one is on the top left barrel 50% of the time cause Gen 1 has great programming? Anyway, surge time. He leads with Vaporeon. Did you know- We go to Psycho immediately and try to hypnotize, which only works on the third attempt. Then Confusion Spam takes Vaporeon out. Haunter is next, so obviously Confusion almost one-shots, and through being confused, we hit the kill. Victory Bell is last, and Gen 1 Rap is the worst for around 20 turns. Before Confusion only does a third and Psycho dies to Bubble. 
Dome is up last and at level 17 on a double type disadvantage on grass. Razor Leaf one shot. Hello there! Round 6 starters are Mewtwo, Poliwhirl, and Kangaskhan. I decided to take Poliwhirl because we might need Mewtwo later on somewhere still, and our rival gets Kangaskhan. We name Poliwhirl Toad and get a Porygon named Gladys on Route 1. Ryu comes back to us in form of a Dragonair in Viridian Forest, and the level 9 trainer at the end of said forest has a Valplume that sleep powders and petal dances to kill Gladys. You monster. Also, Ryu can't rap stall enough and also dies. Poliwell obviously has the type disadvantage, but Hypnosis works for exactly one turn, hits again, Water Gun slowly takes it down, the third Hypnosis misses, and we get Sleep Powdered instead. As it does little, Valplum hits itself in confusion twice and self KOs though. Brock with just our starter. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, well, that was fun. Hypnosis is my only chance on the gym trainer, and I do take out the Weeping Bell after dropping to 9 HP, and the Golduck after it somehow manages to die after bringing us to 1 HP. Brock leads with Eevee, which we take out fairly easily, and second is his Jinx, who puts us to sleep and kills Toad eventually. Round 7, here we come. Hello there! Vortoidal, Execute, and Slowbro are starter choices, and we go with DLC the Slowbro. We catch Exploder, the Electrode on Route 1, and Dino the Aerodactyl, left of Viridian. We challenge Brock with DLC and Exploder, this time, weirdly enough, he leads with his own Slowbro. Exploder handles it with Sonic Boom spam though, while going to low health. Kangaskhan is second, and Comet Punch hits five times to kill DLC instantly. Exploder can land three Sonic Booms to still pull off the window, and then we buy a Pidgey of the guy in the Mount Moon Pokemon Center this time. Name it Birdie and Ender Mount Moon. Slop the Grimer is our encounter in here, and we meet uh, Gyarados with Dragon Rage, who kills Birdie. Two Sonic Booms from Exploder handle that, though. I also deleted the wrong Mon on the layout, don't let that confuse you. On the way through, I took the Helix Fossil rival time. His Seeking is first, getting handled by Exploder. Mew is second, and transforms into Exploder, but goes down to Sonic Booms as well. I switch to the Dino on Execute and get put to sleep. Eventually we wake up and win with two wing attacks though. Wartortle is last and we Leech Seed to buy some time, but switch to Slop eventually. Pound Spam and bad move choices on our rival's part and with our victory. Jim up next. Misty leads with Magikarp. So I just wing attack with Dino for the win. And second is Magneton, so I switch to Exploder and Sonic Boom does good damage. Counter also takes us to low. What the hell? So, uh, yeah, apparently in this game, the randomized TM of the gym also gets put on the mons in the slots that usually have the mons that use those moves in that gym. So, I switch back to Dino and counter somehow one shots. What? That's not how counter is supposed to work. Gen 1 for you. Now, I obviously cheat here. Uh, in this fight by using a third Mon, so this run is null and void as of this moment, but I would have lost to a guy with a Dragon Rage Gyarados in Rock Tunnel anyway this run, so whatever. Round 8. Hello there! Omastar, Venonat, and Chansey are the starter options, so I took the Helix Fossil. I name Omastar Lord Helix, cause he is our Lord and Savior, and get a meme on Route 1, and also a Nidoqueen in the forest. Brock leads with Raichu, I lead with Meme. Thundershock does a quarter, confusion more. With all the growls he is using, we win easily. Oddish is the other one, and obviously weak to Psychic, so confusion almost one-shots, easy win. Oh look, Dragon Rage! Hello there! Round 9 starters are Rhyhorn, who we can't choose for dupes reasons, Ponyta, and Omanyte. So I took the Helix, a Nidorina and a Ghastly joined the team before we crossed the forest, while the Nidorina also dies to a Raichu on the way. And we catch Fuzan the Jigglypuff instead. 
And then we challenge Brock with Lord Helix and Phantom. Brock leads with Graveler, I confuse Ray, and since it only has Tackle, it either hits itself or does no damage, while Nightshade kills. Victory Bell is second, so I confuse again, and Nightshade again does the rest, while Rap only wastes turns without any damage dealt, cause it's normal. Gen 1 mechanics, man. Phantom then dies to a Zapdos on the next route, while we catch a Tauros and name it Ryokugyu after the Admiral in One Piece. Also, we buy a Ponyta and name it Wildfire off the guy at Mount Moon. Oh look, Dragon Rage! Hello there! Uh, didn't think we'd get to double digits, but hey, round 10! Starters are Sea King, Ditto, and Executor, so uh, we go with Scrambled, the Executor, and get Black Pearl the Cloister as our first additional mon. Rue the Kangaskhan is the third, and Meme the Mr. Mom the fourth. Fifth and last, before Brock, is Kaiser the Horsey. With all those mons, we kinda have a hard time leveling sufficiently, so Meme and Scrambled are our underleveled team, and with the Sand Slash of the Gym Trainer, Sand Attacking to no end, we get our ass handed to us, and onwards to round 11. Hello there! Welcome to the world of Pokémon! I've said that so many times that I don't even know anymore why I'm doing that again! Also, did you know that Nidoran Male, Nine Tails, and Articuno are our starter options? So obviously, I go with Blizzard the Articuno. Toad the Polywag is our Rod 1 catch, and QB the Vulpix on the left side of Viridian. Slop the Mock joins on Route 2, and our gym team is Blizzard and QB. Brock leads with Hitman Lee, I lead with Blizzard. Meditate is pretty useless, and two packs kill the fighting type. Weeping Bell is the other mon and has a disadvantage against both my types, so here we go, badge number one. We also get Sludge as the TM and teach it to slop. A Rhydon is the bot mon at the Pokemon Center this time, but we used that in red, so we release it instead and enter Mount Moon. On the way through, we took the Helix Fossil, cause love rival time. He leads with Horsey, I lead with Slop. Bubble does little damage and Sludge poisons, another Sludge kills. Mewtwo is next and I go to Blizzard. Ice Beam two shots while he only swifts. Magnemite is out and gets Ice Beam one shot, and so does Nidorino as the last mon. Easy. Across Nugget Bridge, we catch a Weeping Bell and name it Beanstalk, and then take Blizzard and Slop into the gym. Misty leads with Ghastly, I leave with Slop, but switch to Blizzard for a Confusion one shot. That TM came in really handy. Dodrio is her other mon and Ice Beam again one shots, onwards to Vermilion. But not on the way that the game would want you to take, since we found a fresh water on the ground along the way, so we can totally go through Saffron instead. We also get the Eevee gift from Celadon, which turns out to be a Graveler, who we name Zubat. We also get the TMs on the roof of the shopping center and actually continue towards the SSN afterwards. Rival time. He leads with Raichu, I lead with QB and switch to Zubat immediately cause he has literally nothing he can hit me with. Two rock throws kill, Tentacle is next, and Blizzard runs into a supersonic and misses once, but Bone Club then one-shots. Jigglypuff comes out and gets taken out by Ice Beam, and last is Nidorino, who gets Confusion one-shot. We get cut from the captain and go on to fight Surge's gym again. Zubat, Blizzard and Beanstalk are our team for this. Surge leads with Starmie. Hi Misty! I lead with Beanstalk. Vine Whip does half and he uses an X speed. Another two Vine Whips later, Starmie faints. Omastar is next and dies to two Vine Whips. And last is Nidoking, so we go to Blizzard and Ice Beam one shots. Done. After clearing the route to Lavender, I realize we need the Sylph Scope, so we go to the Rocket Hideout and fight Giovanni. Victory Bell gets fire punched by QB, poisons and wraps us, and Blizzard has to pick up the pieces. Mankey obviously gets fly one shot, and his Graveler gets water gunned to death with a single crit from Toad. Sylph Scope acquired, and on to Lavender Town we go. Ravel time. He leads with Mewtwo, why ever he always has one of those, and I leave with Toad. Confusion takes us to red, while Super Fang does its job of taking half. I go to Blizzard and Bone Club takes another quarter, while Psychic does good damage. Another hit deals with Mewtwo though, Ponyta is next and Bone Club one-shots. 
Nidoking is out and gets ice beamed off the field, so does Farfetch'd, Nidorino is last, and Confusion Gen 1 misses once before crit one shutting. Done. Toad evolves into Poliwhirl after this, and I immediately use a Water Stone to evolve it into Poliwrath, cause there is no other moves it will learn that would make waiting in any way useful. We get to the top of the tower, get the Pokeflute, and go on to fight Erika's gym with Blizzard, Toad, and Beanstalk. <laughs> the trainer that says don't bring any bugs or fire Pokemon in here has a pincer. <laughs> oh my god, that's a oh, randomizer comedy. Erica leads with Kingler, I lead with Beanstalk. Guillotine misses and Wine Whip takes half, so I switch to Blizzard for safety and confusion kills. Zapdos is next and Ice Beam one-shots. Poliwrath is last and Fly also one-shots. How does everyone have legendaries, by the way? The Snorlax is randomized to a Sand Shrew, however the fuck that would be blocking the way, and I decide against catching it. We then abuse the single glitch I willingly abuse in this game, which is borrowing a bike for Cycling Road instead of actually going and getting a coupon for getting the bike. Literally only saves us flying around a bunch of cities for it. Down next to Fuchsia, we fight a bird keeper with a golem that self-destructs on Toad. We then go through Safari Zone to get the Teeth and Surf, and I decide to buy a Cloister in Celadon Game Corner to replace our water type. We name it Black Pearl and go on to teach it Surf before continuing the gyms. I also forget to put it on the layout for a bit. Saffron and Fuchsia are basically the same level gym-wise and are a bit over where we are with our team at the moment. So we go for the Dojo and Saffron first and Motherfucker has an Articuno. Who crit one-shots QB? I hate this game. Our own Articuno does deal with that though, but the reward Pokemon are both garbage, so we go through the Sylphco building next. Rival time. He leads with Executor, which is a nice 1 in 151 chance of him getting the Mon that he would actually be using there. Blizzard deals with that with Fly, and Bellsprout is next and gets Ice Beam one-shot. Same for his Dratini. Pidgey comes out, so I go to Zubat so everyone can have some action, and Rock Throw one-shots. Nidoking is last, and Blizzard is back, gets poisoned, and Ice Beam one-shots. Done. The gift Pokemon in here, which usually is a Lapras, is a Growlithe this time, so we name it Best Boy and go fight Giovanni. His Gloom is first and gets Ice Beamed off the field. Krabby gets Wine Whip but Beanstalk, who takes a bunch of damage as well though, so Blizzard deals with it with Confusion. Tauros catches an Ice Beam and a Confusion. Arbok is a Confusion 2 shot and that is it and we get a second Master Ball, additionally to the one we randomly found on the ground in the overworld. I also decide to evolve Best Boy, since I won't wait for Flamethrower at level 50. That's stupid. Saffron City Gym Time. Sabrina leads with Meowth, I lead with Best Boy, but switch to Zubat. Mega Punch takes most of her health, and Fury Swipes do nothing to us. Tackle then kills. Magikarp is second, and I decide to just Rock Throw while she splashes. Grima runs into a rock throw and poisons us with sludge. I switch to blizzard and it minimizes and poison gases before dying to confusion. Goldine is last and Fly takes most of her health with confusion ending the match. Let's repeat that with Koga. He leads with Magikarp. I didn't mean repeat it like that. Anyway, Beanstalk deals with that in a one wine whip. Nidoqueen is next, and Blizzard two shots with Confusion. Jolteon is out, Thundershocks twice, 
but Bone Club kills. Ninetales is last and almost kills Blizzard with Thunder Punch. A crit Bone Club kills though. I think that one mattered. So we make our way to Cinnabar. Oh look, an explosion! I forgot again! I'm going to kill this move! Zubat also evolves on the way. We check our fossils, but neither the Helix fossil nor the old Amber had anyone I wanted on the team right now, so instead we go for an encounter while getting the key for the gym. Yeah, not interested. Gym time. Blaine leads with the duo and Thunder Punch from Best Boy one shots. Pidgeotto also goes down to two Thunder Punches. Hello, flying type gym. Nidoran Female gets Bone Meringue one shot by Zubat, and Q Bone catches an Ice Beam from Blizzard. Done. Last is Viridian Gym. Giovanni leads with Magikarp. What is it with gym leaders and using useless fish? Thunder Punch from Best Boy obviously one shots. Machop is next, and I send out Slop, who two shots with Sludge. Arcanine comes out, and Takedown takes a lot before Hypnosis hits. Zubat is out, and Earthquake kills. Seedra comes in, and I go to Blizzard. Two flies and a confusion later, Seedra is down. Charizard is next, and only rages at Zubat, who almost one-shots with Rock Throw, but has to cut for the kill on top of that. And with that, we have all the badges. Last rival fight before the league. Asshat leads with Moltres. Thunder Punch from Best Boy takes a good chunk before we go to Zubat and Rock Throw for the kill. Machop is next, and Slop deals with it with Sludge again. Magmar comes out, and I go back to Zubat, Earthquake one-shots. Sandro is a job for Black Pearl with a Surf one-shot, and Bulbasaur takes a single fly from Blizzard. Nidoking then dies to confusion and hitting itself. Victory Road, here we go! Our encounter here is a pincer who we master ball for lack of any more encounters being realistic after this anyway, and we name it Pliers. A bunch of strength puzzles later, we are ready for the league. And yeah, I skipped every legendary bird encounter in this run, cause I already have a legendary bird on my team. Lorelei time. She leads with Ekans, I lead with Slop. Zubat gets sent out and Bone Meringue one shots. Psyduck gets next, so I go to Blizzard and Fly sends it right back. Next is Ganga, so I go back to Zubat and Earthquake one shots through Confusion. Rapidash is next, and also dies to Earthquake, and last is Zapdos, who I miss with Rock Throw, hit myself in Confusion, and then Rock Throw hits for half. We miss another time, and Rock Throw kills. Cause she kept spamming agility, cause the good AI is not dumb enough to attack with Thundershock on a ground type. Up next is Bruno, he sends out Moltres first. What the hell is it with the legendaries this run? And I go to Zubat immediately for Rock Throw which one-shots after finally hitting. Hitmonlee is next, so I go to Blizzard, get hit by high jump kick, and fly one-shots. Charizard is out, and Zubat comes back for more rock throwing, and cut for the kill. Up next is Clefable, who I just bone meringue to death, and last is the duo, who also gets rock throw one-shot after one miss. Agatha lottery time. She leads with Hypno, so I switch to Blizzard immediately. Psychic does good damage, and Fly does a third. Ice Beam takes it to low, and Confusion kills. Snorlax is next, and Blizzard freezes, which makes this the easiest fight ever, so I go back to Slop for Hyper Fang, and she switches to Graveler. I learn from my mistakes and go to Zubat to eat the explosion, and then cut down the frozen Snorlax. Her next mod is Bellsprout, who dies to two Vice Grips from Pliers. Last is another Hypno, who dies to two Slashes, while only Poison Gassing. Thanks, good AI. Lance coming up. He leads with Poliwag, so I just slash one shot it with pliers. Next is... WHAT?! 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 <laughs> that is a 1 in 151 chance! Either way, we switch to Blizzard to get Thunder waved, and then Blizzarding it off the field. Starmie comes out and I fly. I get fully parried in mid-air, cause of course I would, so I have like zero chance of actually hitting fly, with two turns having to be para-free in between. 
So I go with other moves instead. Now, Gen 1 is also stupidly broken as all fuck. So getting parried while in the semi-invincible turn of Fly or Dig gives you that semi-invincibility for the entire time. Meaning he always misses me. Not my fault, the game is just badly programmed. Eventually Starmie goes down and Dodrio is next. That is an Ice Beam one-shot anyway, so it doesn't really matter, I'm still invincible. And for Jigglypuff as the last Mon, we go to Zubat and Bone Meringue for the win. Lastly, rival champion match. I'm the league champion! That man, do you know what that means? I'll tell you. I'm the most powerful trainer in the world. Overconfident much? Randomizer comedy is the best sometimes. Weedle goes down to Rock Throw from Zubat and Firo is next. That also catches some rocks in the face before dying to cut. Charmander is an Earthquake one-shot, Kakuna is next and I'm seriously at a loss at how he got this far with this team. And yeah, so that's a one-shot. And his Krabby takes a Fly and an Ice Beam to faint. Last is his Nido King who apparently was what he soloed this run on, and <laughs> Blizzard one-shots with Blizzard. Really quickly. And here is your winner! And the new Kanto Pokemon League Champion! Me. Man, that was an anticlimactic champion battle. But either way, we managed to beat this on the 11th attempt. If you want to see the full run, the VODs are available on the VOD channel, linked in the description. The next stream series we're doing is continuing the Pokemon Scarlet Wonderlock I started at the start of the year, so I have a main profile save of that to get the exclusive Paradox Legendaries for my living decks on. So, if you want to watch that live, I'm streaming every Wednesday on both Twitch and here on this channel on YouTube at 7 p.m. Central European time. So stop by whenever you want. The next entry in this series will be Pokemon Yellow, of course, but before that, I wanna finish some other stuff I started and never finished, so stay tuned until then. Man, it's been a while since I got one of these scripts done. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did, subscribe and activate notifications to never miss an upload, and I will see you in the next one.